Greetings from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, the white wonderland, I, and you folks are probably basking in nice warm weather while we're suffering in the snow. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about the new Ancora device that Zimmer recently acquired from Frontier Medical Devices. They've acquired the technology and we're working as a partner to manufacture and produce it for you. Let me first start with the design rationale of what the lateral locking lumbar cage is all about. It is designed to be a standalone cage used in a minimally invasive fashion from the direct lateral approach. The design rationale uh, includes several things. First, there's the ease of insertion. Everything is in one plane. You don't have to put any instrumentation or screws or anything at obtuse angles. Everything is in line with the cage. The second is, is the implant is very stable. The implant is stable in all planes of motion, not just one plane of motion as is in a typical lateral lumbar plate. And finally, it's an anchor that's in the strongest part of the bone of the vertebral body. In fact, uh, ancora in Latin means anchor. There are several biomechanical principles of this device. First, the device has a similar concept as a bulb keel of a sailboat. In other words, there's tremendous stability in the actual bulb anchored in the vertebral body. The bulb is situated immediately below the end plane and traverses the entire length of the vertebral body. The construct is rigid in all planes of movement. In other words, torsion, flexion, extension, and lateral bending. It is similar to the AO technique or AO compression technique in that there's 0.5 millimeters of compression on each side of the cage once the keels are inserted. It was also designed to prevent complications. First, you pre-drill the hole where the keel goes, and that prevents any kind of crack propagation or formation of a crack. We've done numerous studies, numerous CT scans, and tested it in cadavers after we've put in the device and never has there ever been a crack formed. The end of the bulb also opens up like a molly bolt or a, or a drywall screw and it prevents the back out of the keel. The keel and the cage interdigitate and there's a locking uh, tab that prevents either the cage from backing out or moving forward and the keel from moving in any direction. So the cage and keel are locked to each other. The instrumentation is all in one plane. It's all parallel to the cage and it slides in a track. So there's no guessing about where the, the device is to be inserted in the vertebral body. There's comparative testing that I'd like to bring your attention to. In static compression, the shear is much stronger than the Sovereign device. If you also look at subsidence, the Encora is also much stronger than the Sovereign device. We also tested an expulsion, and it has about six times the force required to expulse this as compared to a Sovereign device. Static torsion is far superior. We also compared it to a Clydesdale and a unilateral pedicle screw in all planes of movement, and it has roughly equivalent stability and stiffness. There are several strategies that you may use to enter the lateral lumbar market. First of all, the size range of the cages exceeds or equals any other company that's out there. So they have every potential option. Second, the instrumentation is very simple. Everything goes in plane, everything goes in line, everything follows right down the, the, the track of the inserter of the cage. Third, the time to complete the instrumentation is very short. Once you've done all the decompression, you've cleaned everything out, the actual instrumentation of the cage and the keels literally only takes a few minutes. Fourth is that the stability is far stronger than any of the standalone products on the market and it's equivalent in stability to a cage and pedicle screw construct. And finally, the safety of the design leads to less complications. So in conclusion, you can see this device has many advantages over other competing devices. It has been well thought out, it's been well studied. I have never had a patient that's been unhappy. All the patients we've done so far have been very successful, relieved their pain, and had, in fact, dramatic improvement in a very short period of time. Almost every patient went home the next day. One patient stayed, the stayed two days. And we've had many patients that have been back to work in two weeks. So the goal of this technology is to be able to do the surgery quicker, have less complications, be able to get the patients out of the hospital quicker, 
be able to get them to return to work quicker, all at less cost than currently being done. Thank you.